That avalanche swept down Mount Everest early in the morning, killing at least 12 and leaving at least three missing as rescue crews searched frantically for any survivors. The Lord cometh forth out of his place, and will come down and tread upon the high places of the earth. And the mountain shall be molten under him, and the valley shall be cleft as wax before the fire, and as the waters that are poured down a steep place. Giant sinkhole swallowing up a car at a stop sign. Everyone was okay. It seems we've seen so many of them lately, including the one we first reported on last night here, just across from a theme park in Florida. Swallowing the basement and the patio, a disused mine shaft has collapsed beneath the property. In Guangzhou, China, building collapsed when the sinkhole suddenly appeared. Tonight is a reminder to millions of Americans there is a strange and dangerous vulnerability underground. Sinkholes. He's underneath the house. A sinkhole some 30 feet across and up to 100 feet deep opened up directly beneath Jeff Bush's bedroom. Fear and the pit and the snare are upon the O oh, inhabitant of the earth. Something terrifying, the earth seemed to crack open. Suddenly opens up swallowing a security guard. Yang Shibing was buried as people tried to reach him. Here in Chicago, cars were swallowed along the road. But a family of three were driving home late Saturday night in two different cars and ended up at the bottom of the hole. Late into the night, trying to repair a sinkhole that formed near Folsom Field, Air Tracker 7 over the scene this morning as crews began assessing the damage. In Shenzhen, China again, May 2013, a sinkhole opened up suddenly and killed five people. And the railroad collapse in the U.S. in the same month. Where is the six-year-old nearly buried under a building's worth of sand? What was a perfectly normal vacation villa with two dozen units that are three floors high all crumbling into a 100-foot sinkhole. 200 feet across, 90 feet deep. Just to give you an idea of how big it is, this is me over here. Thing We've seen a number of sinkholes this year, but nothing like this. Everything vanishing in about 30 seconds. A stand of trees seemingly melting into this swamp in Bayou Corn, Louisiana, is being swallowed into a massive sinkhole, sucking everything down with it. And here in the United Kingdom, a huge, massive sinkhole suddenly opened up in Derbyshire. In Brazil, January 2014, a sinkhole buried houses just within seconds. Russia, another sinkhole appeared in the middle of the road. A car is luckily running away from sinking in it. Austin P. State University, right in the end zone of the football stadium. Just an average day hanging out your washing, but then the ground drops away from under your feet. Christina Beaumont from Melbourne was doing just that when she was swallowed up by a huge sinkhole. A deep sinkhole suddenly dropped down to 20 feet and said These three sinkholes measured 30 feet wide and 10 feet deep, breaking a water main underneath. And up the coast in San Francisco, look at this, a gaping sinkhole nine feet deep. Two men were lucky to escape injury as their car was swallowed by a sinkhole in East China's Fujian province this week. And it shall come to pass that he who fleeth from the noise of the fear shall fall into the pit. And he that cometh up out of the midst of the pit shall be taken in the snare. For the windows from on high are open, and the foundations of the earth do shake. In Yemen, 
burning fire exposed to the ground when a weird fire burning sinkhole suddenly cracking up. Growing mystery overseas, scientists are being sent to Siberia to figure out what caused this. Even stranger, the area of Russia where the crater is said to have formed is ominously called the end of Earth. That hole is 260 feet wide and nobody knows exactly how deep that thing is. Look at that, it just goes down and down and down and down and it's dark hole. September the 20th, 2013. The Dead Sea is drying up at an incredible rate, leaving huge chasms of empty space in its way. These chasms appear in the form of large, devastating sinkholes and are increasing in number throughout the region. Experts claim they are now forming at a rate of nearly one a day, but have no way of knowing when or how they will show up. These sinkholes are certainly a precursor of the following prophecy. And the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river Euphrates, and the water thereof was dried up, that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared. Over the last few years, there's been a real acceleration of these sinkholes. I've never even heard of them when I grew up as a boy. But now they're just everywhere. Uh, we really feel that they're a sign of the end times that we're living in, that the Bible talks about. And if you've noticed from those videos, you'll see that a lot of these sinkholes are happening in urban areas. They're not happening in the countryside so much, but mainly in urban areas. Cars falling into ditches, lorries, buildings collapsing, whole roads being swallowed up. Who's really heard of these things happening 100 years ago? I've never heard really so much of this stuff happening, but it seems to be happening everywhere. It's not just one particular area in the world which suffers from heavy rain and erosion, etc. It seems to be happening across the world. And as Rez said, we feel that these are warnings from God of the end times. And when we say the end times, we are talking about the return of Jesus Christ. That's what we're saying. The signs are everywhere, whether it's earthquakes, the rain, volcanoes, extreme heat, cold, whatever. Fish dying. Like animals dying, yeah. Yeah. In the hundreds of thousands, they're, you know, they're everywhere. Yeah, and it's just this rapid acceleration. And going back to the sinkholes, yes, they've happened over the years and in the past, but not like this. Not, not every day, every week, there's sinkholes everywhere. This is not right, this is not normal. And we feel this is another sign of the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's a wake up call. And we put these videos together just to show you um, and just ask the Lord, open your heart um, and you'll see, you'll see that things are not right. And the Bible talks about this and we are um, expecting and uh, awaiting for our Lord and Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, to return. And ultimately, we want you to give your lives to him, give your heart to him and just invite him, invite him into your life, invite him into your heart and just say yes to the Lord Jesus Christ because he's coming soon and we can't do it after he comes back we need to do it now so please wake up give your heart to the Lord Jesus don't delay and the fifth angel sounded and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit and he opened the bottomless pit and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. This is as close as it's safe to be because not only has this hole opened up massively in a short space of time, it is surrounded by cracks which suggest that any further rain may make it even bigger still. Okay, but also I don't want to be responsible for somebody going down the 200 foot hole. There's no chance of getting them out of it again. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power, as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of God in their foreheads. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, 
that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved.